There's a new wrestling promotion in town, and it's called the Canadian Wrestling Revolution. And on Saturday night, Woodbridge College hosted their first ever show in front of a raucous crowd who were treated to over three hours of great action. Richmond Hill and Newmarket natives RJ City and Joey Valentine, known together as the Wild Stallions, were in action against the Southside Stranglers. And although the hometown boys came up a little short on this night, they had this to say following their matchup. Tonight was the beginning of Canadian wrestling a revolution. And you can't have a revolution without us. I am RJ City. And I'm Joey Valentine. And together we are the, the Wild, Wild Stallions. Stallions. Woodbridge, Newmarket, Richmond Hill, Thornhill, Sudbury, then the world. The Stallions are wild and they're coming for you. But they weren't the only wrestling stars in action from York Region, as Markham's own Daniel was involved in a six-person tag match. But much like the Stallions, the home field advantage was missing on this night, as Daniel fell victim to a roll-up by Cherry Bomb. The wrestling card was stacked from top to bottom, featuring matches such as a fatal four-way, a no-holds-barred encounter between Newmarket's own Darth Cutthroat and his opponent Steve Brown, a special appearance by TNA star Robert Roode, as well as some opening round matchups to crown a new world champ. And in the main event, it was a six-man rush to the top ladder match, which provided its fair share of jaw-dropping excitement. So there you have it, the Canadian Wrestling Revolution have crowned their first ever junior heavyweight champion, doing so in a six-man ladder match. And if you missed tonight's event, you can catch them the next time they roll into town on March the 10th. And for more information, you can go to CanadianWrestlingRevolution.com. In Woodbridge, Mike Arcelides, First Local Sports.